Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Joe coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very cool reading, Capricorn. Yeah, we do. And we have the gnome spread here for you. We have a, you know, one over here. And then we are going to get the perspective uh, from the traditional tarot, right? So <clears throat> I hope you guys are well, Capricorn. And we start with the Cancer card. And, you know, maybe somebody's a Cancer here, but it's really the energy, right? This is like a nurturing energy. This is an energy where maybe somebody wants a family with you. They want to marry you. Uh, cancer is all about family and uh, it's a very nurturing and caring sign. There's nothing really like, there's nothing really to say here uh, about cancer, right? I mean, they might try to say something about Sagittarius, right? Uh, you're a player, you know, Maybe, you know, your words cut like a knife or something like that, right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, the sun in Cancer, mm -hmm, this talks about finding your tribe or your family. Yeah, the sun in Cancer, your life purpose is to find your tribe and to develop a central role as a caregiver within it. Your life revolving around some form of family, whether personal or professional. Mm -hmm, this looks like it's personal. It does, yeah. Uh, planets here in Cancer talk about a self-protective quality. And they say that because Cancer is the divine mother. Yeah, it's trusting in your intuition, but it is really, the Cancer, it, for me, is the perfect uh, example of the divine feminine energy, right? But, you know, the mother especially, because, and she exudes that energy, she does. Cancer is subtle and sensitive, yet canny and tenacious too. Yeah, they can be. I have, a, I have a, a cancer son. As its animal symbol suggests, a hard shell protects a vulnerable interior. Negative cardinal water has a receptive nature and the instinct to act on emotions. Yeah, receptive is, you know, kind of trusting your intuition and being open, right, to possibilities. And they act on their, they act on their emotions. Yeah, and I just feel like somebody really cares about you and they are acting on their emotions, Capricorn. In the past, Capricorn, we see the Six of Wands here. Uh, it's called uh, Good Fortune. And, you know, she looks like she's kind of uh, uh, hitting, you know, the pinata. But she's not. She's hitting, like, some type of a cauldron with, you know, maybe there's alcohol in there. I don't really know. But uh, she's definitely winning. This is, you know, uh, this is a victory, basically. It can be good luck. But the tower is here. Something has fallen to the ground here. Or somebody has decided this in the past. Because here's the tower and, you know, it's coming all the way down. And the gnome is, you know, he's going to, uh, you know, bite the dust in, in just a couple minutes here. Or in a couple seconds, right? Here is the Ten of Pentacles. They call this theft. Now, he's escaping with his pillow, Capricorn. Like, I'm going to spend the night at Capricorn's house, right? I hope you have a nice bed, Capricorn. <laughs> they could be, right? But uh, the tower talked about, you know, let it all fall down. Let's have a look at the tower. El Torre, or in Italian, La Torre, right? And this is the demon's fury broke the tower into two, into two hurling pieces. Psyching the fool into profound terror. So <clears throat> maybe your person here was really afraid in the past. To have a victory because they have to leave here they have to jump out the window with their pillow capricorn it could be let's look at that ten of pentacles right yeah and he is they called it looks like the seven of swords uh but you know let's see what it says about that mm -hmm. dishonesty is truly an ugly sight yeah your person had to lie to somebody in order to create their own ruin in order to have this victory that somebody here is like <clears throat> It looks like lying about why they're leaving. It does look like that. Now, the current energy is this labor, okay? It looks like the Ten of Wands, uh, but it's the Three of Wands, right? And, you know, it's the back-breaking logs that this person is carrying labor. This is really hard or burdening on this person. They are using all their force here. We have La Fuerza right here. And the hangman is here with it. Let's look at the hangman. <clears throat> The peak of the test where Sykin, Sykin is the fool, right? Submits himself to torture in order to atone for his faults. This is sacrifice. Your person is sacrificing somebody here. 
Uh, and they feel like they're sacrificed, sacrificing themselves, kind of. Mm -hmm. This person is uh, like willing to take some type of a, uh, kind of like an ass whooping here, right? It's, you know, it's not really a good way to say it, but to take some kind of torture here in order to have this new beginning or a victory. Yeah, they are. And they have the courage to deal with it. This is like, okay, I'll deal with this. Oh my goodness, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. So this La Fuerza is kind of like, I think it's like the, uh, it could be uh, the strength card. Let's see what they say here about that. Because your person here is using all their force. Now, maybe this is you. Could be. Oh, they don't even have like the strength. Here it is. Okay, they don't really call this. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is the Ace of Swords. That's what that is. That's why there's no number here. Yeah, this is the Ace of Swords. Let's see what they say about it. Mm -hmm. Force. An effort may be huge, even if it is not used. Mm -hmm. Somebody, your person here is, this is, you got this card before. This person, somebody here is making a really uh, hard force. Like, they're trying with all their might, but it's not really necessary because they think somebody will feel sacrificed or something like that. Yeah, this person could be, and this could be like in their energy, how they feel, like in a very general way, Capricorn. Like, well, I feel like uh, I'm sacrificing myself. Uh, and, you know, but they might realize here, like, uh, this could be like, I'm sacrificing myself in some type of a union or some fan or some situation, maybe in a family with cancer here. They're sacrificing themselves and they are torturing themselves. But it looks like this person here has come to realize that wherever they were or wherever they're like jumping out the window, wherever they're leaving has been like a self-sacrifice, like in vain. That's it for nothing. Like I put myself on the chopping block for nothing. Like, it wasn't worth it. Yeah, exactly. And maybe it was a family. Dependence is here. This is somebody who's reliable. They call this the knave or the page of wands. This is just somebody who's reliable, I believe. And then we have in your, uh, and this is in the near future, the work card is here and the lovers. This person is going to work for this. Like, they're coming to make this their, like, their life work, basically. Mm-hmm. Let's see what they say about the independence card or yeah the not the it's not it's dependence yeah faithful service must not stifle enthusiasm yeah this person is trying to remain enthused uh capricorn in coming forward but you know i don't they have the devil or somebody on them and i don't mean you necessarily no i don't really mean you and let's look at the work card and this is this is another ace. I feel like it is. Yeah, this is the ace of wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting how uh, the wands is called the family of diligence. Yeah, the faults of the powerful become the burden of the weak. Wow. And this is uh, give form to something through personal work. This person is going to work for this, like I said. And here's the lovers. They're going to work for this, and you're going to be able to rely on them. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's very cool. Yeah, and they are very ambitious to have this with you. Yeah, yeah, they really want it is the point. Let's see what else we have, Capricorn. And uh, let's see what we have for Capricorn. For Capricorn, please. This could be your energy, though, Capricorn. We have love. Yeah, you see? Let's see what else we have. <laughs> and we have healing chaos. This person is healing after they tortured themselves after being married to, you know, uh, I don't know, uh, the witch from the Black Lagoon or something, you know, something like that. And the Miracles card. Yeah, wow. This is very cool. This person is like healing themselves to come forward. Yeah. And with the Healing Chaos card are the butterflies. Yeah. This is awesome. Let's see what would the, uh, the traditional tarot has to say today, Capricorn. And these have been, these have already been, uh, shuffled we'll give it one more why not for capricorn mm -hmm. 
bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles this talks about somebody who wants to hold on to somebody we also have the five of pentacles and leave somebody else out or leave a, leave a situation out that is has nothing but lack right no emotions or you know i don't think this is money no and then we have uh the strain card and we see it uh we see it here with the force card basically and here's the queen of swords so you could be wondering if this person's gonna have the courage to leave this person out capricorn because you look like you're well versed here about this situation you kind of do right mm -hmm. let's see what we have and you could be wondering if this person doesn't have the courage i feel like you're wondering that uh they do it does look like that and we start with the two of pentacles the Queen of Wands is here, and this is in the past, mm -hmm, or it sits in the past. What you want here, Capricorn, is change, the Eight of Wands, and growth, and progress, and new beginnings. Yeah, this is what you want. And, uh, and this is what's helping you, because this person wants this too. Yeah, they don't want to be, you know, in some type of a chaotic situation, right, where, you know, Somebody's going to throw them out the window here with this tower, right? Yeah. And so let's see what else we have. The death card is in the near future. Yeah, this is an ending and a transformation in your favor, Capricorn. Yeah, it is. And once again, the Nine of Pentacles is in this reading. Somebody's gaining their freedom. Uh, I believe they are. From, I'm not sure if it's a romantic situation, a family, or even a family that is like a, like a career, right? Some people, like, they're married to their career, right? Some, they sleep at the office sometimes. Yeah, on the weekend, they're working, and this, this is what I mean when you're married to your job, right? Yeah, it's, it's not a fun feeling. No, heck no. It's very unhealthy. The Two of Pentacles with the Six here, you're wondering if you're going to have give and take with them, Capricorn. And if you're going to have a reunion, three of cups. Yeah, you are. And here is this uh, wheel of fortune. It's in the upright. And this is what you're focusing on. This could be what's unfolding for you. So let's have a look. We have the tower. <laughs> and I feel like what this means here in this reading, uh, that this person can take a chance on you and they're going to walk through the tower. Uh, whoever tries to, you know, hit them or burn them or whatever's going on here. But the tower is here twice. And, you know, here's the tower right here. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And so this is uh, coming into play here. Yeah. And you could be focusing on this because you could be hoping this will really happen. If, you know, even if you're wishing this person will maybe walk away from somebody, you're like, well, this is darn justified. And I've been saying that, right? And here's the death card. We have temperance with it. So this is healing. This is a transformation. This is a death to something and a transformation and a healing. It sure is. Uh, and this is in the near future with the king of wands. This is somebody who maybe is an entrepreneur or they own their own business. It could be somebody who just, you know, lives by inspiration, right? Or this could be like, for me, it looks like a new way to live. Like I got to go live where the inspiration is. I can't, I can't sit here any longer. No, I can't uh, with this, some type of burden, burning situation uh, for your person, I believe. Mm -hmm. We have the Ace of Wands, Swords, sorry, and here's the Hanged Man. And here, here he is again. And so this is in your advice. You're going to have a new beginning because this person's making a sacrifice here for this. This is how you are being affected too. And in your environment or how you affect them is the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're having this person take action. And the Ace of Cups is reversed. This is an ending here in your environment, not where you, not for you, like this other person. And your hopes and fears, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Wow, Ace, uh, Queen of Cups reversed. You could be fearing here this person will not become single because of somebody jealous or unstable or super envious or depressed or something like that yeah or maybe manipulation 
Uh, but you could be hoping that they, uh, on the flip side, is you could be hoping that they are darn restless to be single and they need their freedom uh, and to kind of not deal with this situation anymore. This Queen of Cups reversed, and she doesn't have to be a water sign, you guys. In your outcome, Capricorn, is the Six of Wands. It's a victory. It's showing up here uh, with the Sun card. Yeah, and so this is, you know, a vic this is uh a vic this is a victory in your outcome. There's no other way to say it, right? It's inter interesting here because we have the lovers right here. And over here this work card. This person's going to do their best to make this work with you, like to really give to this. Because I feel like this person, yeah, it's possible they're in a situation where the other person didn't give at all. But this is beautiful here. This is happiness and success in your outcome and over here with this card is the miracles card like that is like love healing chaos and miracles this person is going to show up and you're going to go wow this is a real miracle yeah i'm pretty sure even though you are wishing hoping for them to show up you still feel like this will be a miracle because you kind of feel like they might not show they might feel sorry for somebody right you can never stay with somebody because you feel sorry for them. Good God. Even people who are dying, they just say, hey, don't feel sorry for me. Don't, I don't want that kind. I don't want that. It's like a low vibe kind of. You just, you're supposed to appreciate them for, you know, what they have done or, you know, how they helped you in your life or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for your person, Capricorn. And the first card in their... Uh, in their oracle spread is baby steps action follow your intuition before it makes sense yeah they're planning they're taking baby steps to come to you they are and uh what's crossing them either challenging or supporting them is star bathing crystal grid transmission and activation yeah this is like this person's going through an awakening here They're feeling your energy here, definitely. And we'll look at that in a minute. This activation. And this activation here, Capricorn, I feel like they went through an awakening and it has disturbed them, but it has supported them. Like, I need to go be with Capricorn. Yeah, the star bathing card. We'll talk a little bit about that in the, in the other reading. And lifting the veil is why it's all happening for them. They are questioning everything and anything unaligned must go. This lifting the veil is a major lifting. It is telling somebody that they're leaving. It is saying, I, I don't believe in this anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. And it is clearing something out in their life that must go. Yeah, interesting how they say must go. It sounds like it's a sale over at Macy's or something, right? Everything must go, clearance, yeah. So we're going to end this reading. This is going to be a 10-card spread. Uh, but here they, wow, here they are. And... Uh, this is, yeah, it's going to be a 10 card spread. We're also going to have an Oracle spread. I mean, a tarot spread on them, Capricorn and showing their advice, their environment, how they're being affected by this, how they are affecting other people, including you, uh, and what they're focusing on, what's coming in for them, what they're leaving behind, uh, and more. Thank you so much. You guys for joining me here. I have the link below, uh, and you know, always type in uh, power and light. If you guys, you know, uh, because I don't believe everybody's getting the notifications, right? Yeah. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.